everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon, a new beginning. In the last episode, we met the architect and we learned about blueprints and how to build stuff. In this episode, we'll be doing exactly that, buying blueprints to, well, build stuff. Off screen, I did some farm work and I gave, um, Iora some plants. And by doing that, she, she didn't get a purple heart, but our, our friendship was high enough that she gave me blueprints for a copper watering can, a copper, um, hoe, and a copper sickle. Unfortunately, we don't have any means to gather copper right now. It is a very rare drop by the mine area, which is not available to us yet, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Right now, I'm just here to buy this um, blueprint for a newspaper carrier. These building blueprints will be very important later in the game. Also, you can buy um, farm built blueprints. You can build more than one barn, chicken coops, supply sheds, and chicken feed areas. Now, let's see if I can. There's a certain blueprint I want to can buy. Doesn't look like I can buy it yet. Oh well. Um, let's buy a supply shed because that will come in handy later. And I don't feel like buying another bar or chicken coop. And that'll be just, that'll be it for today. And oh, I forgot to feed my cow. Man, that's uh, that's gonna be that's should be an important thing to do. Don't need my cow getting sick and dying on me now, now do we? So yeah. Um, that's where we'll be getting all of our blueprints from, and I kind of jumped the gun because it will be explained a little bit more in detail in a little bit, um, which it probably will have Dunhill explain to us. Probably, I think it's tomorrow in this game too, actually. So, yeah, okay, hello, Ruth, you have plenty of food. Let's get a nice helping of milk out of you. And let's, let's give you a nice little bath, and then we'll call it a day. Because, you know, in this day we did a lot. We actually helped someone build an entire house in one day by having ourselves multiply into eight other people. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh well, let's just now move on to the next day, which hopefully something will happen. If not, the game has made a big liar out of me. Go figure. Sleep for today, sleep for days, and we'll see if anything happens. It should. No, it's raining, so nothing will happen. How unfortunate is that? I was hoping I could have some more direct, you know, stuff bleeding in the stuff, and yeah, well, I guess we can plant more crops and not have to worry about watering at least. I'll only have three seeds, so oh, that should be enough to plant at least two sections. I'll probably go out and buy some more. Of course I would. <sighs> buy some more seeds. Uh, but unfortunately I can't right now because it's like 6 in the morning and no one's open at 6 a.m. Because who, who opens your store at 6 a.m.? Probably a lot of stores, but in this town I mean. Now watch, later in this project we'll find a store that does indeed open at 6 a.m. Such is life. But it's a store that's not important to us right now because that store does not exist right now. So let's put this away and let's give you a nice milking. I'm sorry you're sitting down, I need your milk. Thank you very much. And I think that's all I'm going to really show off right now because, you know, it's, um, well, the start of the day and nothing is really going to be happening. We have a nice amount of gold right now, 12,000 gold. We can probably buy some a nice amount of seeds once the store does open. If the store is indeed open today, are you open? You're open today. Good. Let's ship off some of this milk so we can have some more money coming in tomorrow. Um... Oh, I should also mention, on rainy days, there are less bugs. I don't believe there are no bugs on rainy days, but they're less frequent. Or I could be wrong on that. I just noticed that on rainy days, there's not so many bugs flying around. Which is also a pain, because by now, you need to start um, stocking up on bees. It's very important to do that now, and I'll explain so from my personal experience. When that time comes on why bees are more are very important... I think I may have already explained it, but I'm going to explain it again when the time comes. Anyway, um, I'm going to meet you guys when something does happen, so I will be right back. I did not, I did not expect this to happen, actually. As I cut, we get a free gift from Iora, which is I am not complaining about. You give presents to others, they may also give you something in return. I appreciate it, because we may need these. Rest of receive Silver Sickle, Silver Hoe, and a silver watering can. Now you may be thinking, well, oh gee, now we don't have to worry about making the copper ones. Guess again, you need to have, you need to make the previous one to make the next one. Which is kind of weird, but makes sense in a kind of, sort of, not really way. But, uh, yeah. 
that's um, all that really happened in the like, whole minute and a half that I had to cut. Um, I guess, see, what time are you open up again? 9 a.m.? 10 a.m. Well, um, I'm going to meet you guys back here when she opens up, or if anything happens in that time period. So, see you guys again in a second. Oh, come on, wake up, I'm telling you, to wake up. Huh? What? Come on, man. I don't want to wake up. What are you dragging me out of bed for like this? What? You're tired? I think I take the time to wake you up. So, come on, show me some gratitude. This is where I would punch you out of my house. Pat, good morning. The goddess that I talked to you about before has returned. Come with us to, to pray your, pay your respects. Pay your respects, pray your respects. Same deal. Let's go. Right, we're flying to the peak. Look, couldn't you have just teleported me there while I was asleep? Well, then again, I probably would have scared the crap out of me waking up in front of a spring like that. But still, kind of rude. Well, I don't know, maybe that would have been ruder, but still. Here we are, in front of the spring on the peak. Hey, you, put your put out your hand. Hmm, okay, sure. What are you going to give me? Throw, throw this into the spring. Sometimes something really cool will happen. You'll see. A, a turnip. Okay. Do it, come on, losing your nerve? No, I'm just confused. Oh, hello. Dum da 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 da. Never again will I ever, will I ever say that. I hate that line. That's the Harvest Goddess. It's a lot more attractive than her, um, Lost Valley counterpart. <laughs> I'm not surprised you're surprised. Well, gee. I'm the Harvest Goddess who lives in this land. Um, nice to meet you, I guess? I've been away for a while, but now my work in, in the Heavenly Realm is finished, and I'm back. You must be Pat. Yes, I am. You look very promising, quite lovely. Have the Harvest Birds told you about the sound tr trees? Yes, they have. They have? Great, you've done very well. Not at all, Goddess. I've only been humbly serving you. <coughs> yeah, sure you have. I knew that cough was going to say something, but um, I couldn't think of a clever response. You haven't done anything yet, sister. Well, there you go. Did you say something? I mean, you did almost everything, sister. I would have roised, 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 I would have roised an objection, might. Keep up good work, Pat, as the goddess who lives in the land, I'll be here supporting you. Thank you. And by supporting me, you mean by doing what, exactly? If you want to talk with me for any reason, you can come to the spring and throw in an offering. No garbage, okay? I have my own refined taste, after all. That the same can be said about those living here in town. Only certain things will make will make certain people happy, so think carefully before giving gifts. Alright, you got it. That's right, just so you know, that turnip you just threw it in is a big favorite of mine. Wish I didn't plant all the potatoes in. I prepared that for you. You did? Thank you. You you did thank you? Question mark? Not at all, Goddess. I have only been humbly serving you. I think she even knows you're full of crap, Alice. Sister, you'll do anything to score points. Let's get into the main event. I've called you here today because I need to ask you something of you, Pat. What's up? It's not something I can explain easily here, so let's start with a change of scenery. Here we go. Where, where, we, where, 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 where do we go? Oh, how to use multiplayer! <laughs> well, I don't think we're ever gonna go over this outside of this little segment right here. Hmm, where are we, you ask? Well, that's really a good question. This is the multiplayer plaza, Pat. It's a very different place from the world where you live and live everyday life. There are two main things you can do at the multiplayer plaza. Cooperative with remote players to raise the animals you brought here and exchange items. Pat, would you, would you enjoy using multiplayer mode and interact with farmers living in other places? Uh, yeah, I'll use multiplayer mode. I'll eventually find another play, uh, person who has this game that can show it off with. But you're such an eager beaver. I was hoping you'd, you'd feel that way. Alright. First off, I'll show you how to play in multiplayer mode. Starting by choosing multiplayer mode from the title screen. To get to the multiplayer mode while farming, save to the diary and return to the title screen. Yawn. I'll have Aaron explain the details. To Take it away, Aaron. All right. Whenever you and your friends are playing here in the multiplayer plaza, I'll be here. If you want to access tools or items or equip multiplayer mode, just come and talk to me. All right, cool. Okay, Pat, I'm ready to explain all the different things you can do in multiplayer mode. 
What would you like to hear about? Holy f fudge nuggets, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, okay. Um, well. Uh, well, they explained this stuff, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty simple. So, let's do, uh, exchanging items. When you start multiplayer mode, all, all players in the room must exchange items. You must choose one item from your bag or, or amonine from your studio inventory to exchange. You never know what you'll get from others in exchange. That's part of the fun. Pick something others will like. But there's bleh, but there are some items that are that the harvest god has declared you are forbidden to exchange. What are those items? You have to figure it out for yourself. Oh geez, thanks. I have an idea what those items are anyway. Raising animals. In multiplayer, you can cooperate to raise animals that each of you players has brought. You can choose up to five animals. Cows, sheep, alpacas, llamas, and yaks. We haven't gone over all those, or haven't seen one when you've seen our cows, so it would be a spoiler game. But you can't you cannot bring baby animals, sick animals, or pregnant animals in the multiplayer mode. Here's the key. The more players who are cooperating, the faster you can develop affection with the animals. Plus, animals that are brought into the multiplayer mode have their stress reset to zero. So bring all the bring all kinds. Alright, using the warehouse. When you come to talk to, to me in multiplayer mode, I'll open the warehouse. From there, you can access items in your storage, refrigerator, or toolbox. Alright, cool, that's enough. You're a quick learner, Pat. You'll be mastering multiplayer mode in no time. Or we'll never be using it. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll eventually show it off. I may have to use it to get certain items that take forever and a day for me to get normally, so yeah. Now you can use multiplayer mode to make your life as a farmer better than ever. Alice and Aaron, please take Pat back home now. Leave it to us, Harvest Goddess. Alright, cool, now we can go back home. Alright, so that was, uh, pretty eventful. You're lucky we taught you all that, this stuff. Now keep working hard on your farm. We're going home now. Bye-bye, Pat. Alright, see you guys later. Well, that was fun. Not really, because it was all nothing but reading text and tutorials. But, oh well, we learned more about multiplayer. And, yeah, so... That's pretty much all. We got mail. We got mail. Okay. New products available at the general store. Yay. Sunny until the start of summer. The first day of summer will be a rainy one. Who would have thought that? Alright, let's water these plants. I don't know if I'm gonna, um... I think I'm just gonna cut ahead until the next day or anything happens in between them. So I'll meet you guys back here in a quick second. Uh... Hello? Okay, okay, okay. Don't really be scared, it's just me. <laughs> you, you really surprised me. How can you approach without giving away the slightest hint of your presence? I, I just knocked at the door and I just walked in and yeah. I guess I, sh I just failed to notice you then. My apologies. Oh, it's quite alright, but what are you doing? I'm just picking out some ore to forge with, with actually. This latest batch is all top quality material, so it's really hard to choose. Would you like, would you like to take a, a look, Pat? Maybe you can help me. Sure, why not? These are all materials I can't seem to find. My training for today is to make an alloy by combining multiple different ores together. I feel like making some far farm tools using steel from iron or using bronze from copper. But I also feel like using some gold or silver to make some more decorative items. Hmm, really interesting. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with all that. You must be quite bored. I think it's a little odd to a woman like, like me talking so passionately about rock and ore. Odd, isn't it? No, not at all, because, you know, it's like any hobby people have. Like, I love video games, and you love your ores. Do you really mean that? I don't think anyone's ever said that to me before. Well, that's really odd. I think it's really cool to do all this. You, you think it's totally normal to talk about the material used to make things? Of course! Of course, Pat. Your, your, your own work involves making things on your farm or, or for the farm, doesn't it? Although we make different things and use different materials, ultimately we do the same work, don't we? You betcha. Aw, oh, she's happy. Pat, thank you. You can tell me a little more about yourself if you like. Sure, why not? I 
I had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much. Do you think we can talk like this again sometime? Why not? Of course, I'd be more than happy to. Great, I'm looking forward to it already. Well then. Oh, she's so happy. We just triggered a heart event. By mistake. Yeah. Um, the reason why there was an abrupt cut into that and why you may be hearing my Facebook notifications in the background, because I was checking my Facebook for a second and I got messages and was, was doing my AFK play as normally, and BAM! I triggered a heart event by accident. So I think if we go talk to her now, she should be at a purple heart. She should be, at least. She should be purple hearted by now. Let's go take a look and talk to her. And, nope, still gray. Interesting, but yeah, that was a heart event. And, um, took me off guard. Alright, so let's give her a moon drop flower. Yep, yeah, of course I remember what you like. No, okay, take this, took my appreciation. Cool, more gifts, let's see what we're gonna get this time. Iron axe, iron hammer. Cool. Still, alright, still gray. Should be purple in no time. But I think we could at least quite a bit. So, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon A New Beginning, we'll be delving off more of these new stuff that we keep getting and looking to see what else there'll be to do next time. So, as always, everyone, if you like this video, leave a comment in the section, leave a comment down below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.